Hello everyone, uh, this is Paul from the APN Academy and in this video we are going to be uh, looking at how we can create an MT5 if once you've registered for your live derive account and you'd like to start trading. We're going to see how we can create the MT5. We're going to see how we can uh, also uh, transfer funds to the MT5 and how we can transfer funds from the MT5 back to your wallet once you've made profits and you'd like to withdraw your profits. Or if you'd like just remove your funds from the MT5 to withdraw it using whatever method you like to withdraw, right? So we're going to learn how to do uh, to and from uh, to and fro what uh, transfers from the MetaTrader, uh, either from the wallet to the MetaTrader or from the MetaTrader to the wallet. And also another thing that I would like to tell you guys is Derive allows you to open up to four synthetic MetaTraders in case you're going to trade or open synthetic uh, MetaTraders, meta synthetic meta traders to trade, right? So it gives you a chance to be able to split your funds into for meta traders which can be of advantage to you right so and and also you cannot also create financial a uh, meta trader whereby you trade instruments like uh, forex and uh, all that right so let's start with the uh, uh, creating the meta trader first so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come and click uh on this arrow here on the top right corner next to your balance just so let me just click that there sorry so I'll click on this arrow. Then you sit down here where you're seeing accounts. Now you can create either DerivX accounts or the MetaTrader accounts. Now we are talking about MetaTrader. So we are going to create DMT5 accounts, right? So remember, we have types of, um, of uh, accounts that are offered by uh, uh, Deriv. We have Synthetic where you trade the volatilities, uh, step index, uh, crash and boom, right? You, the ranges plus many others. Then financial, where you trade the normal markets like currency uh, pairs, where you trade commodities, where you trade the stock indices and, and cryptos. Then we have the financial STP, the same as financial, but this one is for pros and the leverage is 1 to 100. These other two, synthetic and the financial plane without STP, this financial here, ha they do have leverage of 1 to 1,000. Now, like I mentioned, uh, I've always mentioned before, or to, to those who understand what leverage is, uh, Leverage is a, a double-sided sword. It can work in your favor or against you, so you need to understand it, right? But synthetics and financials have a constant leverage of 1 to 1,000, and this one has 1 to 100, right? So we're going to create a synthetic uh, meta trader. So I'm going to come and click to add. I can I will click add, and then it will give me uh, a pop-up like this, whereby I'm supposed to enter my, met, uh, my preferred or desired uh, password that I'm going to be using. So I'm just going to enter my password and then we proceed. Let me enter my password and then we proceed. So I have uh, re-entered my, I've re-entered, I've entered my password. So this is my password and we're going to click add account. Now when I click add account, it has already been created. So in case you want to transfer funds right now, you can transfer immediately, but let's click maybe later. If you want to transfer immediately, you can click transfer now. If you want to transfer a bit later, you can click maybe later. Let's click maybe later because I would like to show you something. Now, when you come back and click this arrow up here, let me click the arrow. It's now showing me that I have this, this, um, uh, this uh, account that we have created. Now, remember I told you that you can create even up to to four meta uh, traders of syn under synthetics. Though financial, you can only create one, and also financial STP, you can only, only create one. Now, synthetics, you can create up to four because most of the clients or most of the traders under Deriv are interested in synthetics, right? Though also they have good uh, offers, opportunities uh, under synthetics, they have low spreads and all that. In case you have not tried, tried it, you can just try out these other accounts. Now, this is, this is the account we've just created, but I just wanted to let you guys know that you can add another account. And after even adding that one, you can add another one up to the fourth. Now, alternatively, it is appearing here. You can clearly see that uh, it's under real because we'd like to transfer funds there. So I want you to look at this. The broker is this. And when you're using a laptop, it gives the opportunity, the opportunity to copy or the, the alternative to copy which is which makes it very easy and then your server and then your login id and then your password that you just created for those who are using phones 
you have to note down these details you have to note down these details or alternate also you can just copy on the phone and paste on your metatrader app now for those who do not have the metatrader i'm assuming they say maybe you're very new and you don't have the metatrader app what are you going to do i'm just going to leave the links to creating an account on derive and also the link to downloading metatrader in the description you'll be able to download it some people uh, tend to struggle when downloading a uh, metatrader application on their on their phones and laptops so i'm just going to leave the link to that uh, in the description you download uh, the metatrader so let's just look at it this is how it will look like this is how it will look like so that you just scroll if you have windows you click here download metatrader 5 for windows and then if you're using ios uh, personally i'm using windows so if you're using ios uh alternative is not there if you're using the laptops for that are made uh, that are running under ios right or linux now if you're using phones still you can scroll down now for ios phones it the, op the option is there those who are using ios you can download it on the phone and those who are using also android you can download it on the phone right so after downloading this then you just come back and input in these details right so personally i already have a running uh a running um <clears throat> a running i already have a meta trader that is already running so i'm going to just go and we put in these details so that you see how we do log into our meta trader before we can transfer their funds right so let's just go to the meta trader let me open my meta trader and then we go there okay so i have opened my meta trader now what we are going to do the first thing you're going to do is you're going to come to file in the in the in the top left corner here are you seeing this file here you're going to come and click on file in the top uh, left corner so let's just click file now when, when after clicking file after clicking file let me sorry after clicking file we are interested in this log to log into trading account so i'm just going to use the details that we have created the, of the account that we created and then i log in let me just uh, well, let's click here you click here and then it will bring you the details that you need to input so i'm just going to click here and input my details of the account that we have just created right let me just input those details and then we see how it uh behaves okay so i have just input in my details uh the login uh the password should be correct and the server should be correct these details are already there the password that you created and the login that was given to you after you creating the mt5 in the other side in the wallet and make sure that are you putting the correct details because if you don't put in the correct details if any of them is not right you'll be facing problems like uh authorization failed authorization failed right so uh, let's just click okay and so that we're able to access our account right so we have been able to log into our account because you can see it's the account that is there then let's click ctrl t right let's click ctrl t because i'm using a laptop we have no money there now the next thing we are going to do is to transfer money to this account right now because we want to trade and we're going to use the metatrader to trade so we want to transfer our money here remember we have 12 dollars the other side so we want to bring it here remember we said we are starting with first to bring money to the metatrader to transfer funds to the metatrader then later we are going to see how we are going to transfer funds from the metatrader right so let's just go back to our wallet and then we transfer funds to this metatrader right so let's just go get back to our wallet okay so now we're now wallet and there are two options to transfer these funds you can either come and click on cashier even when you're using a phone you can click cashier and then you 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 go to transfer right when i click transfer it will give me a uh, it will give me an option like this transferring from begin with this from this you're transferring from this to this right so time will come right now you only have one meta trader right we only we have only created a uh, one meta trader but time is going to come when you have many so you have to be careful or you have to be mindful of which meta trader or where are you moving money from to where right so that's why i'm emphasizing from and then to right so for us we would like to transfer from our wallet which is this us dollar account the serial number to this meta trader with this number so this is one method another method is you can alternatively just come to the top left corner where your balance is the top right corner sorry where your balance is you click that arrow and then you click on the account the synthetic account that you created so let's just click on it it will bring you here where you saw the details right and then you click on fund transfer it's just the same i'm just showing you two alternatives so that you choose which one is easier for you so let's click on fund transfer when i click on transfer still it's, take, it's taking me to the same procedure right 
So I showed you both of the ways so that you can choose which one is easier for you. So now let's transfer our money there. Let's transfer our 12 of, uh, dollars, all of it, to the MetaTrader, right? So we're transferring from this, our wallet, to the MetaTrader. So let's click transfer. I'll click transfer. So you can clearly see that up here in my balance, now my balance is zero and the money has gone to the MetaTrader, you see? The money is now on my MetaTrader. Now let's get back to the MetaTrader application and we see if really our money has reflected and then we proceed with how can we transfer the money from MetaTrader in case I've made profits or I would like to withdraw my funds. How do I transfer it from my MetaTrader to the wallet? So let's first go and check if really the money has moved from our wallet to, to our MetaTrader, right? Okay, so now this we are in our in our in our meta trader. So let's now click Ctrl T and see if the money is there. Yes, the money is there. Balance twelve of dollars, equity twelve of dollars, free margin twelve of dollars, right? So now I'm assuming you've made your profits, and let's say you want to withdraw twelve of dollars of your profit. I'm assuming you've made profits of twelve of dollars, or ten dollars, or whatever, and you like to withdraw it back. Let's say you want to withdraw ten dollars now, not twelve, but you want to withdraw ten dollars back to your wallet, and then you transfer it to your bank or you withdraw through a payment agent or you withdraw through Skrill, whatever method you want to use to withdraw it, right? Or you'd like to transfer it to a different, uh, a different meta trader. Remember we said uh, you can have more than one meta trader. So whatever purpose you're going to use your, your funds for, make, you, you, have, you have to know that you, the first thing to do is to transfer it from the meta trader to the wallet, right? So that's the next step we are going to do. So let's just go back at the other side. Remember everything happens in the wallet, right? So let's go back to, let's go back to uh, the wallet, back to the wallet here, right? So now I would like, we would like to transfer uh, funds from our wallet, sorry, from our MetaTrader to our wallet, right? Remember our wallet has zero. We transferred everything that side. Now we want to withdraw $10. I'm assuming you've made profits of $10. The procedure is the same. You will go to Kasha and click transfer or you can still click uh, just that arrow next to the balance. Then you click on the account. It's the same. So in this case, we are going to come, we have just clicked on cash and then you come to transfer. Now remember the aspect of from and to. Now this time round, we are transferring from, you click this arrow here, from this MetaTrader. Because I only have one, it is showing only one, from that MetaTrader to our wallet. You can see it has already changed to the wallet, right? So because you cannot transfer from MetaTrader to MetaTrader, you have to first bring it to the wallet. That's why knowing how to transfer is important. Then I'll put in the amount that I want to transfer either 5 or 10 or 12 of. Of course, you can't exceed what you have there. So I'm going to put in 10. Let's transfer $10, right? Then I click transfer. So you can clearly see that our balance has changed. It, are now, it now has $10, right? So uh, let's check our... Let's check our MT, um, our MT5 or our MetaTrader if the balance has moved or the, the money has moved from there. So, okay, so when I come back to my MetaTrader, when I come back to my MetaTrader, hope you guys can see my MetaTrader. So let's check Ctrl T. You can see we had 12, now we are remaining with 2, meaning the money has moved, the $10 has moved from here back to the wallet, right? So that is how we transfer funds uh, from MetaTrader to the wallet and from the wallet to the MetaTrader. And also we, we looked at how we create a MetaTrader. I, and I, I told you, you can create more than one MetaTrader. And for financials, you only have opportunity to create one unless the Rive also increases the numbers of MetaTraders that we, can, we are able to create there. So if this video has been of help to you, Please do not forget to like it so that you can reach out to many people who are also in need of using such material information. And also if you're new, do not forget to subscribe. Have a great day.